Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Wasim here from the channel Hands and Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another video. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of a fragrance called Taboo. Uh, so I got uh, introduced to this fragrance from an Instagram post by uh, the Wafts from the Loft, uh, a great YouTube channel. I'm sure you guys are aware of them. They really, on their channel, discuss like really uh, quality fragrances. They don't really care about uh, views or anything like that. They don't talk about popular fragrances. They just talk about fragrances that they enjoy. Uh, so they talk about Chypres, Fougères. They've uh, discussed vintage fragrances, cheap vintage fragrances, high quality niche. So fragrances from Russian Adam, from Marie Ladori, etc. etc. Really great channel. I do recommend checking it out if you haven't already, but I'm sure you guys have. So I first got introduced to this fragrance from an Instagram post from those guys. And I was just super intrigued by them. They were really complimentary about this fragrance and the fact that it was very, very cheap. So I bought this brand new on eBay for only £12. Incredible. I think this is a 68ml and it's an eau de cologne. So the fragrance is called Taboo and the fragrance house is called Dana. This fragrance was originally created in 1932. So this is, I think, the oldest fragrance I will ever try and the oldest fragrance uh, that's going to be in my collection. I've never tried anything from the 30s, so super intrigued by this. And I also watched two fragrance reviews of this fragrance before I bought it. One was by Ouch1110, I think that's how his fragrance channel goes. Uh, his name is Thomas, I, I'm sure you guys are aware of him. Another brilliant channel. And a, I watched another review by uh, a person whose fragrance channel goes by the name of another fragrance reviewer. I believe he's based out of Portugal. And he mentioned that this fragrance reminded him of Musk Ravageur. So super tempted by trying this one because I really enjoyed Musk Ravageur. And I really enjoyed a clone of Musk Ravageur called Maharis, uh, which I really enjoyed. And I bought it straight away after watching reviews by Fragrance Bros, where they said they thought it was better than Musk Ravageur. And I also watched a review from Revelescent Stephen and Stephen was very complimentary about Maharis as well and funnily enough I actually enjoyed Maharis a lot more than I enjoyed Musk Ravishore. and you can pick up Maharis I believe on eBay for about 26 quid so another cheapie but anyway this is Taboo from Ouch's review he mentioned that this was the first ever uh, oriental fragrance so really interested to see how it, this is going to compare to fragrances of today uh, reading up on uh, Tabi One for Grantica, like I mentioned, this was released in 1932 and it was created by Jean Charles, or John Charles, I believe that's his name. So he's a French perfume, and he, the famous thing about Jean Charles is that he created the Givardon Perfume School and the House of Givardon. So Givardon is like one of the biggest uh, perfume juggernauts in the industry. They supply so many ingredients and uh, essential oils to perfumers and they also have probably the most famous perfume school in the world, Givadon Perfume School and some of the uh, alumni from the Givadon Perfume School is like Jean-Claude Elena who created her the Hermes and was the head perfumer at Hermes, Jacques Polge who was the head perfumer at uh, Chanel so he was behind stuff like Anteos, uh, Chanel Allure etc and also Terry Wasser, who's the head perfumer at Guerlain. So a really impressive perfume school. So let's give this a first impressions. I have to say the box is interesting. I like how it looks at the front. Uh, at the back, they've got a picture of the bottle and it, the, pin, the printing of the bottle, it looks a little bit cheap in my opinion. Uh, but this is a really cheap fragrance, so let's check it out. So. This is how the bottle looks. The lid was not secured in tightly enough and the bottle was a little bit dusty. I did pick this up on eBay from a uh, company, uh, so I do assume it's brand new. Uh, the bottle doesn't look too bad at all. It's got an amber color. The lid itself is plastic and very, very cheap, but the bottle itself, I'm really happy with. Uh, the spray looks fine. There seems to be no information at all on the bottle, apart from a sticker at the bottom which gives the uh, description of it being other cologne and a 68ml and there's a batch code at the bottom as well. 
and the, the lid itself, I think that's the logo of Dana at the top and the name Taboo just here. So let's give this a first impressions. Taboo from the house of Dana. I believe it's all the way from 1932. The spray is not too bad actually. So let's give this a first impressions. And I forgot to mention that this fragrance was created uh, to be worn by prostitutes or the fragrance of a prostitute, which is why it's called Taboo. All the way in 1932, obviously, the Lady of the Nights would be considered taboo, and it's considered taboo by a majority of the world today, even today. So very interesting, the scent of a prostitute. Ooh, so this opens up super smooth and sweet. I'm getting definitely some amber and a lot of smoothness. Imagine cotton wool. Uh, cotton buds and you sp they're, they're filled with amber. That's the sort of vibe I'm getting. <sighs> this is really, really nice. I'm very impressed by this and really surprised by the price that this smells like this. It's super warm, very cozy and has a touch of booziness to this. This is a, a fragrance which could be worn in my opinion, best in the autumn or the fall as a nighttime fragrance, and it comes across quite cozy. The warm amberiness and the coziness sort of reminds me of Givenchy's pie. There's a touch of warm spices, maybe a cinnamon. Uh, so there's amber and cinnamon, which are the main notes I'm picking up. I'm not picking up anything dirty. Uh, per se at the moment <sighs> doesn't seem massively complex just now this is on first impressions <sighs> it just comes across like a really beautiful cozy warm fragrance and uh, for 12 pound I don't think you can go too wrong I'm gonna read out the notes of Taboo and let's just see what we get so at the top we get spices orange coriander neroli and bergamot uh, I didn't pick up any of these citrus notes in the opening. The spices, I definitely did. The heart of the fragrance is clove, ylang ylang, rose, jasmine, and narcissus. So the cloves, I can understand. I've got some spiciness. And in the base, we get amber, civet, benzoin, sand, uh, sandalwood, patchouli, musk, oak moss, vetiver, and cedar. So definitely the benzoin and the amber, I can understand, and the sandalwood. The others I'll have to wear on my skin to really see how it performs and if there's notes that do come out. I'm really looking forward to the civet pushing out on me. As you guys know, I'm a massive fan of animalics. But on first impressions, for £12, this is insane value and it's a fragrance released in 1932. Uh, it does not smell old school in the slightest this is not an old school um, old woman or old man sort of style fragrance at all this can definitely be worn today it has stood the test of time in my opinion so guys i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please do leave me a like and a comment below and if you haven't subscribed to the channel make sure you do until the next time my friends see you later